Well, a primary school has overcome multiple challenges in remote learning to set an attendance rate of almost 100% during school shutdowns. The vast majority of students don't speak English as a first language and they don't own computers. And teachers were determined that they would not be left behind during the pandemic restrictions. What's in the box, in the box, what's in the box today? Amelia Burney's classroom is empty, but all students are present and online. Monkey munches, 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 monkey munches. Her lessons involve online teaching half her students in the morning and the other half in the afternoon. It's a unique setup for a very unique group of kids. They speak Vietnamese at home, some of them might speak Arabic if they come from South Sudanese backgrounds. We've got Dinka, a lot of different things there. I also have some little boys in here from Chile. Of the school's 150 students, 95% have English as an additional language and nearly all live in the nearby public housing estate. The online lessons keeping kids connected with learning and each other. They play hide and seek on their cameras, you know, can you see me? Are you hiding behind the chair? What? With no internet at home, five-year-old Condul takes lessons in the school computer room. He speaks Nuer at home with his mum and English at school and is also fluent in maths. Four plus four equal eight. Eight plus eight equals sixteen. If it's going to be like an uh, intelligent boy or educated, so I have to work hard for him. 85% of Sacred Heart families don't own a computer, so the school distributed its own devices and this week portable Wi-Fi, their efforts resulting in a near-perfect attendance rate. The children themselves, they're actually loving it. Like they, they'll often say on a Friday, can we do this again tomorrow, you know, on a Saturday. Mal's here, good girl. One of those is Melissa Lynn, who does her lessons from home. I know I want to like finish my education, like go to university and stuff. Mum Liu Jun Li, who's still learning English, says the teachers have been incredible. The teacher uh, very kind and helps check out every day. The federal government is eager to reopen schools, publishing a report that found remote learning has the potential to result in poorer educational outcomes for almost half of students. And those at particular risk include those from low socioeconomic backgrounds and those with English as a second language. The answer is to give them more support. It's the lazy option to say, well, that means that we should um, reopen schools. Given its diversity, Sacred Heart should be one of those schools where students are falling behind due to remote learning, but staff here are confident that not only are their kids keeping up, but they're thriving under the new learning environment. The attention to detail for our children and the individual support they're getting is even greater than what they're getting if they're at school. It's like a one to seven, one to eight ratio of teacher to children. He's confident that despite their challenges, learning outcomes at Sacred Heart won't be damaged by the pandemic. And that's something to smile about. Abby Dinham, SBS World News.